Born Marvin Leoday, Meat Loaf, the Grammy Award winning singer died on Thursday night with his wife Deborah by his side. The rock icon admitted in a recently unearthed interview his most famous song had almost killed him. Speaking to the Mirror in 2016, he said, I work day and night on Bat Out of Hell. I was barely sleeping. It literally almost killed me. I saw a psychologist five days a week for about six months. This live blog has now closed Guy Event's family issue statement on inspiring artist and beautiful man 09 colon 21 11 months ago 10 colon 49 Rachel Hagen Low Cut Connie pay tribute Low Cut Connie, American rock band, paid tribute to Meat Loaf on an Instagram post. They said, an absolutely fantastic live performer. As the Tough Cookies viewers know, I love Rocky Horror so much. Thanks for the cheap thrills and cheesy songs and big big heart. 11 months ago 10 33 Rachel Hagen photographer pays tribute fashion photographer Peru pays tribute to Meat Loaf, who he photographed in 2003. He said Meat Loaf was playful and a little bombastic. A large character and by all accounts a top man. 11 months ago 10 colon 04 Rachel Hagen Boy George pays tribute Boy George shares a fun memory of Meat Loaf of Twitter, R. IP Meat Loaf. Love and prayers to all his family and close friends. He once turned me upside down in a Chinese restaurant in St. John's Wood. 11 months ago 09 36 Rachel Hagen Meatloaf struggled after producer's death a year ago took a part of him music producer Pete Waterman has shared how the death of Meatloaf's producer Jim Steinman in 2021 would have impacted him. Kate asked Pete whether he thought the death of Meatloaf's producer would have affected him. Mr. Waterman replied, it really must do. It's like when your partner does go it takes a part of you away. I don't think you can ever work out what that effectively does to you personally. I think that must have had some impact. Mr. Waterman said he was an amazing character. He continued, I once sat on a plane with him to New York and he took a trunk of beef burgers it was amazing, that boy could eat. Meatloaf was Meatloaf his size was part of the whole legend. 11 months ago 09 colon 21 Sam Stevenson family issue statement on inspiring artist and beautiful man a family statement read, we know how much he meant to so many of you and we truly appreciate all of the love and support as we move through this time of grief in losing such an inspiring artist and beautiful man. From his heart to your souls, don't ever stop rocking. 11 months ago 09 colon 01 Rachel Hagen Piers Morgan pays tribute broadcaster Piers Morgan took to Twitter to pay respect to the late Meatloaf. He said, one of rock music's all-time great characters whose seminal iconic album Bat Out of Hell is one of the biggest selling records in history. A wondrously talented, flamboyant, funny, outrageous and rebellious chameleon. Sad news. 11 months ago 08 colon 50 Rachel Hagen Meatloaf's friend opens up on singer's tragic death he needed oxygen off stage Good Morning Britain's presenters Ben Shepard and Kate Garraway paid tribute to the award-winning singer who they described as a larger-than-life character. Radio presenter Paul Gambaccini came on the show to discuss the crushing news. Mr. Gambaccini who knew Meatloaf personally said the singer was a bundle of energy and just one of the boys. He did reveal that Meatloaf needed needed oxygen off stage. He added, this is crushing for me, he actually played with us on our Regents Park softball club and I did introduce one of his albums at a launch. 
read more here 11 months ago 08 colon 48 Rachel Hagen Stephen Fry pays tribute Stephen Fry, comedian and actor, took to Twitter to pay tribute to Meat Loaf. He said, I hope paradise is as you remember it from the dashboard light, Meat Loaf. Mr. Fry said he had a fun time performing a sketch with him on Saturday Live, see below video, way back in the last century. 11 months ago 08 colon 45 Rachel Hagen Good morning good morning from London. I'm Rachel Hagen, I'll be bringing you all the latest developments on Meatloaf for the next few hours. Please feel free to get in touch with me as I work if you have a story or tips to share. Your thoughts are always welcome. Email, rachel.hagen at reachbook.com Twitter, at rachelhagen underscore.